Stephen from France. I, uh, my company is Mobile On Go, on, uh, we sell uh, trottinette electric scooter, electric scooter, on made uh, in France. This is la fabrication de cette trottinette en 2014, début 2014, elle sera fabriquée en, en France, en, en Bretagne, donc in Brittany. Et, uh, elle correspond en fait à des attentes particulières, notamment pour les golfs. Donc on aura une, un produit dédié au golf. Et là, nous visons une clientèle forcément internationale pour être présent notamment en Angleterre. Euh, voilà. Et on fait autrement de la publicité avec des trottinettes. That um, the, the market for uh, solar will increase further in Germany and we will reach the 52 gigawatt quite soon by 2016. And um, at the moment, the batteries are still quite expensive in Germany, around 2,500 euro per kilowatt hour. But we believe this could go down to 500 euro per kilowatt hour by 2020. And by 2018, actually, we believe that um, with lower battery prices, lower PV system prices, and higher cost of electricity, that then PV plus battery will make more sense than PV only. And that means that by then, uh, all the PV systems will come along with a battery system from the very beginning. At my days, they, uh, they did range is around 150 and around 100. That is very short to, to actually. Uh, our company is Guangzhou Tianzi Materials Technology Company. We are a materials uh, supplier, manufacturing in China. Mm -hmm. uh, we produce the products is uh, electrolyzed and also the abstract materials of electrolyzed. Uh, this is a uh, lithium salt. Uh, as you know, we are the top five suppliers in the batteries uh, materials uh, electrolyzed in China, and also. We have the international clients uh, such as uh, a European client, but I, I'm sorry, I can't tell you. I can't tell you the uh, detailed names because it is a secret. And uh, also, um, Tianjin Lishen is also our customers. And uh, well, uh, we produce the materials um, for the Li battery. Or, uh, uh, besides the digital uh, uh, fields, also the. Uh, power, uh, power uh, battery fuels, uh, such as the EV, uh, EV battery and HEV batteries. Uh, as it, um, the international market is very important for our company, and so that's why we come here to show, uh, to show our products and our um, and our companies. So, as you know, European com uh, market is very important. Uh, it is. Uh, uh, it is very potential for the uh, power uh, power battery. Um, we hope uh, we can come here to have a new uh, new start uh, to uh, for, for us to promote the uh, to promote and develop the European company. So so please uh, maybe. From the Nanosil company located in Belgium, we are specialists in the manufacturing of carbon nanotubes and we are promoting our product for lithium-ion batteries. Uh, our main market, uh, for our main application for batteries is uh, lithium-ion batteries with products based on carbon nanotube powder, like this one, mm -hmm. or predisposition of carbon nanotube that will fit in the lithium-ion batteries. Carbon nanotube brings several advantages, uh, enhanced lifetime and better connectivities of lithium electrodes. Je suis le président de la société Origalis Electrochem SAS. Nous sommes fabricants de cycleurs pour batteries et de multi pour tester les batteries. Notre société existe depuis trois ans, mais l'équipe possède un grand savoir-faire parce qu'auparavant nous étions salariés de radiométeurs et de TACUCEL. Donc on a plus de 20 à 30 ans d'expérience dans le développement d'instruments électrochimiques. Donc notre appareil principal qui est présenté ici, qui s'appelle le cycleur de batterie, présente la particularité, c'est pour ça qu'on l'a qualifié de chaînon manquant, présente la particularité d'être à l'interface entre la R&D et la production. C'est un appareil sur lequel on peut faire des cycles de tests de batterie avec la précision d'un potentiel stade laboratoire. Donc quand vous faites des cycles de batterie au-delà de 2000 cycles, etc., et que vous avez besoin de revenir en arrière pour voir 
si les courbes sont, se sont bien passées, si la batterie a bien fonctionné, vous pouvez le faire avec un autre instrument, ce qui n'est pas toujours vrai avec tous les cycleurs de batterie. Et ce produit répond à une demande d'un de nos partenaires clients qui est le CEA à Grenoble, qui souhaitait justement avoir un appareil intermédiaire entre les appareils de laboratoire et leurs cycleurs. Voilà, merci beaucoup. Merci. successful in Africa because with this product named Origasta you can check the water pollution like uh, uh, mercury, cadmium, nickel. We are quite successful in Cameroon, Senegal, Burkina Faso where we sell several instruments of this product. Staff Lehmans, uh, product manager at PEC, PEC. Uh, we are headquartered in Belgium, but uh, we have uh, facilities all over the world. And what we do is uh, we make uh, test equipment uh, for advanced batteries, yeah, cycling equipment, live testing. And also uh, we deliver uh, completely automated production lines for the lithium cells. So this ranges from applications such as automotive application, uh, hybrid vehicles, electrical vehicles, e-bikes, as well as uh, storage applications. Quite easy to understand. 
Um, this is the price for private electricity customers. This is industrial, commercial and industrial electricity prices in Germany. Um, and this is the feed-in tariff going down every year. Everything al aligned to this um, um, axis. So now we switch to a monthly digression in Germany and the plan is, the official plan is, um, that we go out of this feed-in tariff scheme until 2018. This is the 50 um, to gigawatt cap um, I told you before. So the plan is that we will reach that 2018. And if you look at this line, this shows you the costs um, of electricity production for a 10 kilowatt peak uh, PV system in Germany. Um, this is the prices, um, the capex for this in, uh, system. So right now, prices are in the range of um, 1,800 euro per kilowatt peak in Germany. Um, if you translate this to a cost per uh, kilowatt hour, we did that using a very conservative irradiation and uh, using 6% return of invest on the project. So you end up at the moment at about 17 cent per kilowatt hour production cost than when I buy it from the utility company. And more and more this happens also in the commercial segment and it will also finally be the same situation in the uh, industrial electricity consumer segment. Now if I take um, the battery storing prices, um, and I took some price, some low runner prices and also included the incentive that we have in Germany, I end up right now at around 20 cent per cycled kilowatt hour costs. This is, as I said, the low runner costs at the moment. But as you can see, that should be what, um, um, create a business case for batteries by 2018. We also don't believe that the PV systems will continue their tremendous growth reduc uh, cost reduction from the last years. We don't think that this learning curve can be maintained due to several reasons. We have uh, minimum import prices from China now for PV modules. Um, also the technical requirements that you need to include in such a system will also increase, I think, more in the next years. And um, also we think that there will be an increased demand in the next years. And to support also the pioneering customers, we have introduced in the last year this market incentive program for batteries. Basically, um, you as an end customer, you get 30% of your purchase price back from the government um, if you use a loan from the German bank KSW. Um, and we see that this is creating tremendous interest at the moment, at least, um, on the customer side. So if you ask PV installers, they tell us that many, many um, people have a big interest. The demand is still quite slow. I think so far we have sold around 1,500 battery systems under the scheme in Germany. Um, it's just because the people are not very much educated yet in that market and many people think they can go 100% hot out if they install a battery. Of course, this is not, not yet really um, economically and doesn't make so much sense, but at least this um, uh, incentive program is kickstarting the interest very much uh, of the people. And we believe at German Trade and Invest that we also need to have this kickstart because we think that we will reach um, this 52 gigawatt cap in 2016, not in 2018. So two years earlier than expected. And why? If you look at the market merits um, of the PV market in Germany, always before you have a reduction of feed-in tariff in the past, the market always exploded. And we believe this will be the same um, for this 52 gigawatt cap. And if you put the numbers optimistic or pessimistic, you can um, calculate that pretty, pretty much sure 2016 we will reach this 52 gigawatt cap. We installed up to 2 gigawatt per month in Germany. So I think we can manage to install also 9 gigawatt in one year. And what that means is thereafter, there will be no feed-in tariff anymore in Germany. And the PV market will only work with our consumption. And in order to kickstart this, we believe that the moment when the battery demand will increase will be 2017, uh, 2018. Without this, the PV market will not really survive. They believe that the, consu uh, the consumption of battery stock, solar, uh, uh, solar power, this is the gigawatt hours per year, 
um, could increase tremendously to around 4,000 gigawatt hours by 2020. And if I now try to uh, translate this in an installed capacity, I use very conservative numbers. I used 90% um, of discharge, 90% efficiency, and most importantly, 365 cycles per year. But that would mean that the battery is so small, like your PV system produces electricity on the lowest day in winter time. So that would mean that the batteries are really, really small. And then that would result in an installed capacity of more than 12 um, gigawatt by 2020. Um, I think the batteries will be bigger, of course. And so this is quite a conservative market. PV is so competitive already, so that's why UBS and also we see um, a lot of growth potential also in Spain and in Italy within the next few years. So to give um, an, an uh, overall outlook on the PV market, um, if PV with battery becomes really competitive, cost competitive in the future, then the PV market would only be limited by the um, number of, of area that we have available in Germany. Um, there are some um, uh, expectations that this might be around 400 gigawatt. If you look at rooftops and facades, this is about 200 gigawatt in Germany. I think the other areas, um, in order for PV to get competitive, you need to be competitive not with consumes, consumption prices, but production prices, and this takes quite a longer time. Yeah, the need for energy storage. Um, as I said before, it's quite obvious we need that, and if you look at the situation of our um, electricity exchange, um, this is from this year's uh, June, June 16th, um, it was a weekend, in the weekend it's, our demand is always a little bit slower, lower, but if you look here at solar consumption at uh, 34 gigawatt, uh, you see that almost all of our peak electricity already came from solar. And if you think that we will reach here 52 in a few years, you will see that already PV and others will displace the fossil sources during the day. And the effect on the electricity prices is shown in this red line. And and this particular day, we really had, for a short amount of time, we had negative electricity prices. And now you can see that this situation is coming more and more often in Germany, um, and therefore also creating a business case for storage. So uh, this afternoon, we're going to have a quite nice workshop on uh, stationary uh, energy storage in Germany. And um, I invite you to uh, listen to these presentations there. There's one presentation from Dr. Stenzel which analyzed the grid-connected battery market with uh, the latest market numbers, and it's quite impressive uh, what happens there in this market. So, um, other um, actions that you can take, except of energy storage, you can introduce demand side management to a certain amount, and you can um, extend your grid. That's um, uh, one of our first options that we do in Europe. It's also the um, with the lowest cost.